and I have an unboxing! This has been a long time in the making. I ordered this like two months ago. I think it's exactly like two months and a day or two months and two days. I ordered this, as you can tell from the tape. Well, maybe you can't tell from the tape, but um, if you watch any sort of uh, pen unboxing from overseas pens that take forever to get here, you will know that I have a pen BBS pen. Now this is, this is technically, this is my first pen BBS pen. It is not the first pen BBS pen I've received, but it is the first one that I have ordered. I have received one as a gift that is in a video that I haven't posted yet because I'm lazy and a terrible friend, but um, yes, I will show you that later. But right now, I want to open this fun thing. This is a giant box for what should only be one pen, so whatever. Um, the box is in excellent condition. If you've ever watched a Creepy News video opening these, his boxes always seem to be like destroyed, but I got lucky. This is a good one. I have done nothing with this. I have done nothing with this packaging. I haven't even sliced it open ahead of time. Oh, don't, don't open things like this. Always cut away from yourself, not towards yourself. Do as I say, not as I do. Oops, let me try that. Okay, so hopefully I, um, these are handy dandy little scissors that I have from knitting. Um, hopefully I've cut, yes I have. Hopefully I've cut the tape enough. Oh, well, not that side though. Yes, so ta-da, I have a box of packing peanuts, yay! <laughs> so let's go through all these. And here is what I ordered. I have a pen. We have a pen at BBS 355. I'm so excited. I have the snow color, which is the white one. Um, this is my very first pen BBS pen that I've ordered for myself. Um, I wasn't going to get one. All my friends ordered one. I was, I, th I think it, did it originally come when it was a no buy? I can't remember if it came out when it was an April no buy or not, but I was just, I waited and then they had this one in stock and I almost got it and then I chose not to get it and then I went to go look again. I was like, I'm going to get it and then the nib size I wanted wasn't in stock so I didn't get it and then I randomly went and checked the um, Etsy site another time and it was in stock so I in a moment of weakness decided I'm going to buy it so awesome so we have instructions and we have our pen oh it's so pretty okay it's heavy too like they're it's heavy I mean that's actually not surprising because considering the filling system but um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else in there, so we'll just move that along. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Bring it down a little bit. Okay, so yeah, so I have a pen and it's really pretty. This is um, the Pen BBS 355. Like I said, this is the snow finish. This is a really pretty pen. Here's um, the top and the clip. And you can see 355. And then it's just white and pretty. And wow, this is amazing. This is a really pretty pen. I'm going to go ahead and open it. I'm supposed to, yes, I do. I have the snowflake finish on the nib have a lovely reflection of my ceiling. Um, that's so pretty. And I have the round medium nib, which, oh, oops. Hey, oh, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and flush this out because I've never um, used a pen BBS pen before and I don't typically flush my pens out um, just because, but I feel like I kinda should um, just because I don't know. I just feel like I should. Um, but I'm going to kind of look at this. Ooh, pretty. There's the section. Oops, not even in frame. It looks giant because I'm zoomed in. <laughs> but there's that. And then there's the inside. Um, awesome. 
Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and flush this out and I'll be right back and then we will ink it up with mink. And I think I know what ink I wanna use, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So I'll be right back and um, we'll see what this looks like. Okay, I'm back. So I am really kind of scared about how this filling system works. I have instructions that came with mine. So um, yeah, let's use these instructions. I can't read them, it'll be fun. Um, yeah, so my pen came with instructions. So I'm going to kind of, I kind of was playing with it after I flushed the pen just to see if I could get it to do something. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. Like it makes zero sense to me. It's like, it makes zero sense to me how it fills, but then I look at this and I'm like, oh, that makes sense. So I really don't, yeah, I really don't know how this is gonna work out. So um, we're gonna just practice before we, before we touch ink. Um, so the instructions say, obviously remove the cap. Okay, so we did that. And then you unscrew the tail cap at the rear of the pen and all the way out and then turn the tail cap clown, ca clowner, counterclockwise to make the piston head connect with the metal rod. So, and if you look at the picture, you just, okay, so we'll see. So we'll do what the picture says. Okay, and then When I did it before, I was able to push it up. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. Let's zoom in. Okay, let me. Okay. So I have a white pen, so it's a little easier to see. So you untwist the cap, you pull it out, and then you twist it, and you see how it kind of goes down a little bit? And then you twist this back. I don't know how far you have to twist it back, but then, oh no, it didn't do it. Maybe you have to twist it like this. No, okay. Okay, let's try it again. I got it to work though, I got it to work, okay. So you unscrew the bottom cap, pull it down, and then twist it until it goes down a little bit. You'll see right there, it went down a little bit. And then, um, and then you twist the cap towards you. Let's see, does it say, um, does it say how far you hold it? You twist it, pull the rod down and run. No, but you'll see, oh no, but didn't do it. You'll see eventually just the rod will go up. So let's try, no, I didn't do it. Okay, let's try it like that. Okay, so it's all the way down. Nope. And then twist the thing. Okay, so I have a little, I don't know if you see a little notch. I twisted it all the way around until it came back to the top. And then I don't know if you can see the plunger, like right there, that goes up. And then you draw it back down. And then you're supposed to be able to twist it and then undo it and then it goes all the way up. I don't know how that keeps ink from like going out of the pen. <sighs> it does mention that a little ink may run out of the nib at that time. Okay, so you can see that. Push the rod down to the front end of the barrel and discharge the air inside and submit, submit, submerge the nib entirely. Please hold the tail apart with one hand and hold the barrel with another hand and pull the piston back of the tail slowly to fill the pen. So once you engage it down here and then you put the plunger up, you push all the air out of it. And then once you push all the air out of it, you stick the pen in the nib and then you draw the ink back and then you'll have the nib like the rod will be the rod will be sticking out so then you undo all that and slowly 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 push the rod up. Okay, let's go ahead and try it. What's the worst could, that could happen? We just make a giant mess. So, I'm going to use my bottle of Vinta Harlequin 1920 Body Beal. Um I this is a really purple pretty purple ink. Do I have my cards here? 
Um, are these the bottles? No, they're not. No, I do not have my cards here. I don't have my cards here, so I can't show you what it looks like on the coloring card. But, um, yeah, it's a really pretty purple. It sheens like nobody's business. Um, you may be able to see on the bottle here, there's a slight, there's some sheen. Um, yeah, so this is um, awesome. So we're going to go ahead and try this. I have used this ink before. It's not, oh God, like having this ink open like this is like scaring me. Um, okay, so I'm going to do this. We do it a little. Oops. Or did I do it already? Okay. So it's all the way down. And then you rotate this. No, I didn't do it enough. Okay. So my plunger is pushing all the air out. And it's at the top. And then I stick it in my ink. I'm going to zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see, I'll try to do this so you can see it. And then you pull, did I do it? No. Maybe, no? getting like I'm getting like a the tiniest bit of ink oh I'm getting ink all over my hands I'm getting the tiniest 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 bit of ink okay I have to be doing something wrong what am I doing wrong you can see the very tiniest bit of ink or maybe that's all that it goes that seems like a waste okay let's try it again Is that all it goes, maybe? No, there's way more room in this. Okay, I'm doing something wrong. I'm Something is happening. I'm doing something wrong. I just wiped this ink bottle off, and now it's all sheeny and gross. Which isn't gross. Oh, look at my hands. <laughs> okay, there has to be a way to do this. And I am just not adept at figuring it out. Oh, did I start? Okay. So slowly pull it. Slowly pulling it. And I'm getting like no ink. Rude. Okay, obviously I'm doing something wrong. Mm -mm 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 -mm. tested this ink for staining, so hopefully it doesn't stain. <laughs> okay. Am I doing it? Maybe I'm just doing it wrong.
Oh, shoot. Okay, so it's doing something now. So let's try this. Okay. There we go. Okay. Look, I have ink in my pen. I don't think that was very clear on how to do it at all. <laughs> But I, um, okay, so I think what happened is when I was pulling it back, I was unscrewing it and then closing it. I wasn't, you have to get the, um, you have to have, you pull this down and then you engage this and then you get all of these, you have all the things at the bottom that should push up and then pull back the ink. And I was not doing that. I was only working with the, the little vacuum filler area. So, <laughs> I'm glad that I put the paper towel down and let's go ahead and see how this writes. Oh my gosh, I have made a mess. A giant, giant mess. That's okay though, it's all right. That's what pen stuff is for. Okay, okay cool. Awesome, all right. Because I have my planner sitting here, I'm just gonna go ahead and use an old page in my planner that I haven't used. So I don't know that the filling system was, let me find a blank page, okay. So this is our pen, let's see. Quinn, 1920. I like this nib. I don't have any problems with the nib. It's really nice. I prefer a medium nib most of the time, medium or broad. So yeah, so here's what the snowflake looks like. Um, yeah, and this is what the body of the pen looks like. So I wanted to have something that was dark so we could make sure that it was filled. Um, and uh, yeah, and you can kind of see, I don't know if you can kind I don't know if you can see, I'll pull it up. Um, there is some sheen on some of the letters and down here. Okay, and then awesome. So yay, this is cool. This is very cool. So you can see the snowflakes, so pretty. Awesome. Well, I guess I know what pen I'm using the rest of the day. Thank you. Oh, that was terrible. Okay, let's do just for funsies. about how this is going. So sweet. My nib doesn't feel scratchy at all or anything. Um, it's really nice. Sweet. Now, as I have said, this is not, this is technically the first pen BBS pen that I have purchased but it is not the first one that I received. The first one I received is this one. Um, this is the uh, PenBBS 480. And I think, 
I think I still have ink in here. This is the 480, oops. 480, are you gonna, oh, it's a little autofocus thingy. Turned off. Um, there we go, 480. And I have this filled, I think there's still ink in it, with um, uh, Pelican, yes. Edelstein. Edelstein. Moonstone. And, oh, you can't even, sorry about that, Nyango. And this is um, a medium nib. what that is and this I should say up here is snow it has a nice weight to it I like how it feels it's more it's definitely substantial and I am certain that that has to do with the uh, mechanism because this is just a cartridge converter so that's like wow, look how cute this is um, so I have to autofocus it myself so pretty And yeah, I'm almost out of ink, um, but yeah, I love this section. I love that it's dark. Oops, that was almost bad. But I like how like tightly their pens seal. They have the little O-ring and even on this one they do. Well, I'm not going to open it because I have all that ink in it, but um, even on this one it has the tight O-ring seal and I think that's really nice. Um, but yeah, so here's my pen BBS family. I have a Nyangao. That was courtesy of a friend, some really dirty hands, and a snow. So that's awesome. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to play with these new pens. Um, you'll see this video where I unbox this um, soon, maybe by Saturday over the weekend. Um, Saturday or Sunday. It's my goal this weekend to go ahead and edit this video because I'm terrible. Um, but yeah, and you'll actually see another video later today because I have um, gone ahead and already uploaded and scheduled my next, uh, my next, the first um, ink, ink shelf review. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, checking this pen out. Um, yeah, oh, sorry, the auto, I accidentally touched my screen and then it like, the auto, like the autofocus lock turned on and I don't know how to undo that. I have done it once before, but I don't know how to do it all the time so yeah so awesome I'm very excited to um, write with this pen and um, yeah I love how this acrylic looks it's just really pretty and um, yeah I love it I'm so excited I'm so excited to use this pen so I'm going to go ahead and get this taken care of and uploaded so you can see it I hope you enjoyed this video and this unboxing and um, yeah I hope that if uh, this helps you in some way um, figure out how to fill this pen. <laughs> I didn't do a very good job of it, but I think that it will get easier with use and with time um, as I get used to the pen and how to mess with it. So um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to figuring this out. Um, one suggestion I would have is don't lose your instruction sheet if you're fortunate enough to get one because um, that's terrible. Actually, I think it's on the website. I think it's on um, the Etsy shop they have it as a picture so you can still get the information but yeah so awesome so this was fun um i'm looking forward to playing with this pen some more like i said it has a really nice it's definitely feels like it's like back weighted but it's really comfortable like it just it's back weighted but it back weights right to the right spot of your hand like where it needs to sit and i think that's i think that's awesome i mean i don't have a i don't have a problem with heavy pens to begin with um or bigger pens or anything like that so it's I just it sits really nicely but as as a lefty who has you know writes differently than some people um, yeah so and I think the skipping is because the um, the feet is closed it's kind of like a back filler where you have to like leave the chamber open a little bit if you want to get like if you're gonna write a lot um, so I think some of that is just some like 
starvation issues, but just because of like the nature of the pen, not not anything else so yeah so awesome i'm very much looking forward to um playing with this ink and this pen and all those things um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and go now and i will talk to you soon take care love you bye